Hi everyone, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are all doing good and well as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my long-awaited, I guess, half a year haul. Last haul I did was from January to March of this year, so this time we're going to be digging in from April to June. I would be including July in here, but I don't have everything that I ordered in July yet, just some things are pre-order and things like that, so I'm just going to include that in the July to September haul. So the reason why I'm doing hauls month, um, I guess grouping them into one month is because I've decided to limit my purchases this year, so I have happy making smaller purchases here and there. So that's why we're just gonna dig in from April to June. June was my birthday month, so I didn't buy too many polishes as I would gifted them. I was lucky enough to be gifted a lot of things in June, so yeah, let's just get into it. So the first two I bought in April was a continuation of a haul that I did do in March for Revlon. This was part of their Velvet Velour collection. I want to put a little picture of the display I saw in the store because a few of you did ask me where I did get them from. Just got them from my local grocery store here. Revlon is a drugstore brand, so I'm sure you can get it at any drugstore, but yes, this was about a 10, 8 or 10 piece collection. I did get the last two because I did like how they dried. They all dried to a matte finish, so the last two I did get, the first of two, is called In the Clouds. It's a soft baby blue with a beautiful, beautiful silver shimmer in there, and it does dry matte, as well as Pillow Fight, which is a pink with that silver shimmer in it as well these are super cute baby like shower baby color polishes i really like that they dried down to matte and i guess this is my first like full collection that i bought and it's from revlon <laughs> unexpected but kind of nice and i am liking these two the only ones i've tried i didn't want to do when i was doing a comparison of polish names in my collection and the one that i did try from this collection is called catnap which is a really super pretty like um, sea foam green and when you do add a glossy top coat to that one it does get a little more goldish than silver so yeah I'm excited to see how these ones look on the nails next four I picked up were all from wildflower lacquer and the first one is called slug bug 2.0 which is a beautiful berry toned red in this blackened red base really pretty I actually do have a polish called divine by revlon which actually looks pretty similar to this so i'm going to do a comparison of them for you guys in case you missed out on slug bug 2.0 this was limited edition i'm pretty sure it's closer it's close to the first version as well just slug bug but i did hear this one stains and i haven't tried it yet but um yeah i'm excited to see what that looks like on my nails second one up is called ikigai this one is gorgeous i especially love this green flip that's in there contrasting with that pink base and then the silver glass fleck in there yeah this is gonna look great on the nails i can only imagine so super excited to try that one as well next one is called you had me at hydrangea which was part of i think this was custom made for a brown nail polish group by wildfire lacquer on facebook so what i'm loving about this one is it's definitely a transitional shade because of that strong green shimmer in there for the summer aspect and then against that brown mauvey base for the pink so very very gorgeous i'm loving this one it's very pretty and the last one from wildfire lacquer is one of my top picks out of the four this is called aretha and i knew i wanted this one because i don't have a single yellow flaky in my collection i did wear this on june 1st for national nail polish day and yellow is actually my my favorite color would you be my birthday month i always <laughs> wear yellow a lot during the month it's weird i just noticed that about a few years ago about myself but yeah i really love this one and i hopefully can add more yellow flakies to my collection because i did like this one i think i'm gonna have to wear it with a blurring um line base coat because it did show my nail line after three coats but it's expected with um flakies especially yellows that are this sheer yeah, I think this would look, would make a really good topper too as well, but we'll see. So that was Aretha. Diving into May, we're going to start with my May polish pickup order. And that, I'm trying to remember what the theme was, but I'm not remembering now. It was National Parks and Landmarks. Yeah, so the first one I did pick up was from Melissa, Vanessa Molina. And this is my one and only from her. This is called Glorious Sky. Man, when I saw this one, I was like, I knew I had to have it because the flakies in there, you guys. I'm definitely going to have to try this matte, but it's just a rainbow in here. This is beautiful. I'm skeptical about buying polished bottles that are 11 milliliters, but when I saw this one, I didn't even care. I was like, I need it. <laughs> so, 
super cute. I actually didn't notice until it was delivered. And I was like, oh, it's 11 milliliters. So I, got, I really got to watch out for that. <laughs> but honestly, I'm pretty happy with how it looks like in the bottle. So I'm excited to see what it looks like on my nails. That was Glorious Sky. The second one is definitely a top purchase. This is Sassy Sauce's Zion Sunset. I knew I wanted this one when I saw it swatched. Oh, you guys, this pink shimmer contrasting with that burnt orange base. Pink and orange just go together so well with polish colors. Not even polish colors, just like color blocking with your clothes in a room. Like it just looks so, so good. And I love how strong this shimmer is. I think this is going to look really, really good matte. And another transitional shade that you're probably going to see me mention again pretty soon here. But this is one I definitely have to get on my nails pretty soon. So that was Zion Sunset. The last one I got is one from a brand I am seriously just falling in love with. This is Fair Maidem's La Dame de Fur, and this was based off a picture of the Eiffel Tower at nighttime. This has reflective glitter in it, but that's not why I bought it. I just love the purple with um, that strong pink shimmer in there. My oh my, this is gonna look so good on the nails. And when it's not even in, um, well I am in, in direct lighting with my ring light and the sunlight in here, but even without those, this looks gorgeous, even at nighttime. I think I'm really, really going to love this one. Fair Maiden is turning into one of my favorite brands. Every single polish I get from them, I absolutely fall in love with. So I'm thinking about making an actual purchase from the store. But um, yeah, really solid brand. Not disappointing colors. They are usually true to color every time I buy them. So yeah, super excited to try that one. So that was the Dame de Fur. The next set of polishes were all gifted to me by a friend of mine. Um, so sweet. She knows I am a nail polish addict. So um, she bought me some of these from a Japanese nail art store. So the first three that I am going to show you guys are three little mini bottles. They're super cute. So we're going to start with this one. I don't think they have names. I'm just going to go off the brands they are. So it's Mag Nail Art. And this is a beautiful blue with a strong, strong silver shimmer. Got a lot of polishes with silver shimmers in it. Not bad this one's really gorgeous I am super excited to get this on my nails this is one of those polishes that's gonna look I feel like different than it does in the bottle so super excited to try that one next one is a topper and this is by fruit jar nail this looks beautiful I really loving the glitters in there the glitter mix from like white to gold to even black to green I see majority of green in here I think this would be really nice for a Christmas topper or just something to spice up your manicure. This actually reminds me of the Everything Bagel Spice Seasoning that I did get in Remind from, um, I think it was Sweetheart Polish. This looks like a green version of that. So super excited to try that one. And the topper that I'm most excited for is this by Mermaid Potion. Right up my alley, the name already got me. Now, I was super excited to this one because Diana from um, Some Call Me Coco did an amazing manicure where she used Simple Colors Green Ocean. And that is a polished top where I've been wanting for a while, but I think it's long gone now. I don't think that they make it. And um, this one kind of reminded me of how that would look. Now that one, Simple Colors Green Ocean has a lot of more blue in it, and this has a lot more pink, yellow, and I want to say blue. Yeah, a lot of pink and yellow though. So I'm excited to see how this looks over a dark color because that's exactly what she put um, Green Ocean over, over a dark like black cherry color. So yeah, that manicure was so good that she did. So I'm super excited to try that one. And the last topper that she did get me is one called Flake. I'm super excited for this one because it does have bar glitters in it. Silver bar holographic glitters to be precise <laughs> this is gorgeous i don't know if the, if the um, glitters in here colored the base um blue in there but either way i'm really liking this one and i can't wait to experiment with it i think this is such a good fun topper she didn't even know i like bar glitter so um yeah she could totally tell i guess i don't know she knew what i liked so that's good <laughs> so that one's called flake and a super interesting one that she get me is a peel-off manicure. I've never seen that before. Just a polish being a peel-off polish on its own without a base coat. So I thought this was super, uh, super interesting and I'm excited to try it. It's an orange, which I don't have a lot of. And I'm assuming it is a peel-off uh, nail polish because it says peel-off manicure. So I'm assuming a base coat wouldn't be a color. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't know. It looks uh, kind of like spacey in there. So maybe... No, actually it applies really well. I'm gonna have to try that one out and tell you guys my results. But yeah, that was called Peel Off Manicure. 
And the last Paul she did get me was this one by a brand called Galaxy, I'm assuming. And this is gorgeous. This reminds me of KB Shimmer's Spell Check, except not flakies. This is all glitters. And it's in like this black base as well. It's like a black purplish base. It's a bit thick, so I am going to add um, a nail some nail polish thinner, but oh, I can't wait to try this one matte. It's going to look spicy. So <laughs> that was Galaxy. Super excited to try that one. She did get me some nail items. So the first one is a glass nail file with my Zodiac sign on it. Very, very pretty. Um, I'm a big fan of glass nail files and I've kind of always wanted a collection of them. So this is like my fifth one that I have now. And it's perfect to kind of round out that collection. I don't know if I'll get more. I mean, like, how many glass nail files could I need? I mean, unlimited amount, you know, as long as they're all different. But this one is really cute, and it was really sweet of her to get my Zodiac sign, too. I'm really, really loving that. And I have about five now, so I'm kind of rotating between all them. And the last item she did get me were these nail decals for... It's like a... I think, I think they're gel nail decals? And they're for your... Feet. so I am gonna try these I'm really loving like that beachy vibe to it I definitely wear this to the beach or somewhere like sandy very very pretty and tropical too so kind of reminds me of those um those flash tattoos that used to be super popular not anymore but yeah those remind me of these but yeah super cute can't wait to try those moving right along right into June um most of these polishes were gifted to me, so let's just start with the first one. My sweet friend Anna, the same uh, lady that gifted me the Moonshine Manny polishes, did gift me some Chloris to Carol polishes because I haven't wanted to try that brand forever. So I got to pick three along with a base coat that actually broke in the mail. It's so funny because in my uh, video of confessions of a nail polish addict, one of the questions was if I'd ever had a nail polish break and transition to me and I said no. So I guess I can finally say that one has, but it wasn't a polish, it was a base coat, but you know, close enough. Um, but yes, the first two that I did get were both reflective polishes and I did get them in the red. Oh, when I saw these swatched, I was like, I need to have these. Like, I'm not the biggest reflective glitter fan just because it's been thrown in our faces a lot. But when I saw these two, I absolutely fell in love with them. So the first one is called XOXO, which is a light red reflective polish. And the second one is Splendor, which has that deepened dark like berry base to it. So both very different, very um, fitting to have both in my collection. I am looking for more candied red polishes, if you guys did see that video, but yeah, love these two. And the last one I did pick out was called Sleep In, which is a blue crelly, like a sky blue crelly with, um, I wanna say there's, I thought there was bar glitters in here, but there's not. But if I added that topper on there, I think that'd be maybe a lot of fun. But um, yeah, this one's called Sleep In. It's super pretty. It has a lot of pink glitters in there. I think I definitely want to wear this before the summer ends or maybe next spring or something. But yeah, super pretty with that one. The next two are from Hollow Taco. I was gifted a gift card. So I did end up getting two polishes from there. And the first one is called Play Rosé. I absolutely love rose gold polishes and my favorite favorite all-time rose gold polish is halcyon by sir colors that is a polish that will look good on anyone anyone and i'm a big fan of foil so that one is so up my alley but this one is more of a glitter version of that and it's so sparkly you guys i've heard great things about this polish so i haven't had a chance to try it yet but i am very very excited to do so and this is my second hollow taco polish in my collection. And the second one I did get was a topper because I really want all the unicorn toppers. And I have two right now. So this is the second one. This is called a Galactic Unicorn Skin. Oh, the blue flakies in there, guys. Yeah, I basically got this because of Simple Colors Green Ocean. But now that I kind of have two that are like kind of similar to it. I'm definitely excited to try them <laughs> and maybe these two will look similar I'm not really sure but we'll have to see but yeah I did get galactic unicorn skin the next two you guys are gonna believe they are from OPI <laughs> the first one is called never a dullest moment I did go into a salon and they had a whole bucket of OPI's for like $2.95 what I was really looking for is turn on the northern lights because that is one OPI polish I've been wanting for a while but yeah never dullest moment <laughs> super cute yellow this is so muted, it's so good for like an all year polish. And I know the formula is really finicky. With it being yellow, that's no surprise, but 
it's really pretty i think it's really gorgeous like i said for all year but mostly for the fall because it's so muted it has a lot of brown undertones in it so yeah i can't wait to get that one on my nail and this one i wanted to get to kind of try the glazed donut look that's been going around this is called let me buy you a drink and it is a pearly like off-white color with like a dot of pink in there with this subtle silver shimmer very gorgeous. Like I said, I think it'll look good for like the glazed donut nail polish like that's been going around. So I think this, I think I'll have to layer this over something or just wear it by itself with a super shiny top coat. We'll see. So that was buy you a drink. Let me buy you a drink and buy you is spelled B-A-Y-O-U like in the Bayou. Super cute. And the last three were gifted to me by the same person that got me the hollow taco gift card. She was giving some polishes away. So I said, let me add them so um the first one that i did get was can you dig it by cupcake polish this is a gorgeous gorgeous bright yellow bright yellow bright orange with a really pretty contrasting greenish uh yellowish shimmer in there it's mostly leaning towards green bees knees lacquer did come out with a polish like this in their latest collection but cupcake polish just lasts so long i mean this is one i've wanted to get for a while so i think this is one I definitely have to get on my nails before the summer ends because it's so fitting. So that was Can You Dig It? Next one I got is an, another one and only to add to my collection. This is Boa Constrictor by Mooncat. Now, now seeing Mooncat's bottles in person, they're not that bad. I'm um, seeing them online and stuff. They just look really big and bulky, but I just don't like the cap, I don't think. But I really do like the bottle shape. It's like square and like dainty. I really like it. I have no brown hollows in my collection. So this is a light brown one that I probably will have to get while the sun is still around so you can all, I can see it in all its glory. But yeah, that was another one she gave away, Boa Constrictor. And the last one I have to share with you guys is from Polish. This is Whole New World. Very gorgeous sky blue with some massive, beautiful shifting flakies in there. Mm -mm -mm. I did wear this one, but unfortunately I lost the swatch picture. I'm sorry. But this one looked outstanding. I think it's really good for the summer. It reminds me of like a summer, like a summer, like kind of like when the sun is setting and you kind of see all those like different colors in the sky. That's what this looks like to me anyway. Very gorgeous in the bottle. I just wish the flakies were, um, looked as big as they do on the nails than they do in the bottle. But either way, this is one polish that I'm happy that she gave away because when I saw on Polish's website, I really, really wanted it. Polish is another brand that I want to accumulate in my collection. I really like her um, her rolls. I think it's like the rolled glass fleck polishes. Every time she comes out with one, those they're all just so pretty and well known. I think so. Yeah, that was Polish's whole new world. All right, guys, that was it for this haul for April to June. So next month, well couple months now we're going to be doing july to september i kind of already just want to share with you my july stuff i probably will maybe a bit earlier but everything hasn't gotten here like i said in the beginning but once it does i'll definitely be sharing you guys what i got it's super exciting especially for polish pickup so guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate it and i will see you in my next video take care